yes, I have been art jamming myself and absolutely loved it. What a wholesome, what a fun, what a creative and developmental thing to do, even for big kids like myself. What a great way to get involved in our own 67 minutes of giving back to this country that has given us so much and, of course, honoring Titan Nelson Mandela. I have joining us in studio Oliver Nurok from um, the La Lela Project, of course, as um, we've just heard, and Megan McNamara, who has experienced my incredible artistic ability in art jamming. Look at how she shakes her head. But, but we proved that anyone can go art jamming. But what an awesome project. What an awesome day to be involved. First of all, um, first, tell us, Oliver, if you can, a little bit about the La Lela Project. It means listen, La Lela. Yes, yeah? indeed. La Lela Project um, provides an arts education to youth, at-risk youth, sparking creativity, igniting un the entrepreneurial spirit. La Lela means to listen. And it's what we do. It's the heart of what we do. We listen to communities. We listen to the children's stories, and from that we structure our I Am curriculum, ideas, arts, and music. And we provide a safe community space for kids to learn courage and grow and see a different world. It's what we call the art of change. So often I would s you, know, you would assume that the arts would be playing second fiddle to other means of therapy or um, broaching these the social issues that certainly down here in the Cape are so prevalent. This offers us a wonderful vehicle that is, is soft, it's warm, it's safe to broach what Absolutely. is a, a very harsh reality for far Absolutely. too many children. And it's allowing children to be children yeah. in a safe space after hours during school holidays when they're most vulnerable. And it's uh, remarkable when you see the impact it has upon them and their communities. Now, Megan, you get to see the impact of this creativity. You've experienced yourself as, a, as an artist, but you work <coughs> with kids on a daily basis. Talk to us about 67 Minutes this Friday. What are we doing? What is Art Jamming doing? Okay, well, first of all, we're so excited that you guys are coming on board with us. Yeah. So nice to have you there. <laughs> we didn't scare you off completely <laughs> after my no, experience. No, no, there. no. <laughs> Only encouraged us. <laughs> And on Friday, we're going to be doing 67 Minutes, where we're asking you guys to think about, reflect, remember Madiba, his legacy, what he's taught us, and all of that, and to express that into a painting. Lovely. I like that. Um, uh, uh, yep. Uh, the, the nicest thing, it's kids for kids. It's our kids giving back via what we'll be doing with art jamming and also painting the pediatric wards at Somerset Hospital. So it's the kids giving back to other kids less fortunate than themselves. How do you Which I think is all part of the... But it is, you're instilling that culture within children that they need sure. to be looking beyond themselves, which is absolutely vital. Where do you guys need support? Obviously, this coming Friday, we can get behind the Paint-a-thon. Um, but the Lalela Project, what do you guys survive on? Where do you need support from the, the private sector and, and from us at large? <coughs> Well, um, support of any kind, whether it's support in, in kind or in donations, we uh, s s uh, exist purely from support of a very, uh, a very giving society. And it's, so on, on every level we need support. We need that generosity. I have to ask, how did you come to this point? What was, um, where did the inspiration for the Lalela project and why use well, art it, as this vehicle? It was started um, by Andrea Kirzner in 2010, almost four years ago, literally as a safe space for kids after she saw what was happening to kids, being exposed to whatever was going down in townships in after our period after school, school holidays. And um, through art, we started with 20 kids. We now have about 750 wow. at the moment, and it's growing. Um, and it's literally giving them that safe space, that ability to express themselves in a creative way that they don't get at school. Um, and, and often not at home either. Yeah. How do we get involved, Megan? I understand there are going to be shifts. There's going to be a lot of activity happening on Friday. Um, where do we go to, to start and sign up? Okay, well, first of all, the paintings that we're doing are being donated. So the idea is that people come in for 67 Rand just for the day, wow. purchase a canvas, <coughs> come in, think about it for 67 minutes, paint something beautiful for kids to brighten up their lives, give them some hope and happiness, something like this, <laughs> yes. Case in point. And basically, we have a few different time slots on the day. The public, anyone can come in, sign up, go to breakingnews at artjamming.ca.za, email us, we'll give you a slot, come in, enjoy yourselves. 
Oh, have fun. Spend a little bit of time <laughs> with the crazy espresso crew as well. And, and yeah. all, all the paintings are being donated to Somerset Hospital afterwards. I love it. It's part of the, you know, we're going to be painting the wards, the pediatric wards, and donating the paintings. So it's beautifying a, a, a place that needs beautifying. And it needs a yeah. smiling face like you this. Bet. Guys, thank you so much for the work that thank you're you. doing, not just this week, but the, the long-term efforts. It really is appreciated. And thank I think you. Espresso is really looking forward to being there on Friday. So come and join us. Come spend your 67 minutes with the Espresso team at Art Jamming. Do something very special for the Lalela project, something that is going to have a very far-reaching and long-lasting effect. And those who Tata Madiba himself loved the most our children's lives. All right, let's launch into our Express News.